So here you go guys on YouTube, this is a video with a very uh, very promising young golfer. This is Joe Wood who came to see me uh, only a couple of weeks ago for his first lesson and the changes that we've made in such a short space of time are unbelievable. Uh, Joe started only two years ago, uh, he's come down from 28 to 12 in one season and then 12 to 8 and now he's joining me down here at Trafford Golf Centre to get him down from 8 to scratch as low as he can possibly possibly go. Joe's only 14 at the moment and from what I've seen of him tonight and the technique that he's doing and the improvement that he's made over two lessons I feel very 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 hopeful this, uh, that Joe will have a great season this season. So first off what I want to show you is what we've actually changed from last session. So we're hitting just mid iron here at first and this was last session on screen at the moment. We can actually see a couple of things. First off on the left hand side how much the shaft was leaning back at address. That was something he was unaware of. A little bit too much of a kind of a lateral movement and quite a, a wishy-washy swing it wasn't very powerful golf swing here on this left side let me just play through that again we also noticed from the top of the golf swing how very upright his swing was now we fixed a lot of this in last session so we actually talked about keeping that elbow tucked in a little bit more this was one that I'll show you just here the, here on the right hand side this was the after of last session now, normally, you would see a, a young lad come back and maybe not do it quite as good as, as they did do last time because, you know, things get in the way. Cars and fast women and all that. But what we've actually seen is an incredible improvement. This, this young man is dedicated to improvement. And we've seen an awesome top of backswing position there now. We see the same setup position that we saw at the end of last session. And the actual ball flight now has come down dramatically because we're now starting to launch the ball better and we're starting to draw the ball better. So it leads us on to today's lesson and what we've worked on in today's session. So as Joe would come down into the golf ball, there would be a little bit too much leg action. So you can start seeing the legs kind of bow and turn here. And as we hit, that left leg really kind of folds down. If we look, just pause it there, just notice this left leg really kind of collapsing on him. And his foot, or the, all the body weight would go onto the outside of his left foot. And this was causing quite a bit of inconsistency in strike. Uh, and it wasn't, get, it wasn't getting the same kind of perfection of strike that we're after. So, dead simple drill. This was, this is probably my most you teaching aid in, uh, down here at Trafford Golf Centre, the, the trusty golf bag box. And what we talked about doing first, we're still keeping the same swing. We've noticed there's very little slide in Joe's head, which is awesome, very little lateral movement. And we just talked about straightening the left leg as we came in to hit the box. So you can see there how strong that impact position is and how we straighten through the ball a lot better. And Joe was finishing a lot taller. Then we removed the box and this is the result. So this is Joe hitting same iron, only a few kind of 15 10 minutes later and the improvement of his leg work was unbelievable you can see it there through the ball it's just fantastic great improvement there and he would finish a lot taller then his efficiency of strike would become a lot lot better this is kind of quite sevy when he was playing in i think it was the the open at st andrews where he was almost into wind he's got that shot where now he's a lot taller a lot stronger in his finish position and the improvement of ball flight was was something that we couldn't quite believe really Joe currently was, was struggling with quite a vicious hook this was why he first came to lessons but now we can't hit the ball left to save our life great top of action this and this is with a hybrid here and the ball flight is just a soft little draw I mean he's really really hitting this golf ball well and like I say this is more maintenance now for Joe ready for the start of the season because the way that he's hitting the golf club he should be playing off three at the moment not eight so I'm looking forward to the start of the season another trouble club that he was hitting with a three wood this was something that he was almost resigned to the fact that he couldn't hit and if you notice here on screen now just watch him hit this three wood shot on the left hand side he would just turn left down would be more along the line of his shoulder the club would just come down into this beautiful position on the downswing and like I say money can't buy some of these positions that he's getting into and he was just hitting these lovely three woods much straighter ball flights and a lot with that's got a little bit of a tail on it a little bit of a fade but most of the time was drawing it and the big stick, this is one that he really had some trouble with. He kind of gave himself a handicap of 10 with the driver because he didn't feel as confident. But just look at the ball flight of this now. I mean, he's absolutely ripping it. Nice little draw, starts to the right side of target and just draws straight back to middle and kind of bombing it for a 14-year-old your lad with the uh, GC2 kind of hitting just under 230 carry distances, which is which is going to be good for this season. He's, he's looking forward to uh, the start of the season and 
looking forward to getting this handicap down to as low as possible. So guys, that's just a video just to prove how much we can do in a couple of lessons with um, a talented young golfer. And hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've picked up a few points from it to help you improve your golf. If you've enjoyed it, please do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And I would love you to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and wish Joe all the best this season. I've got him in for another few sessions before the start of the season. And it's more about maintenance now rather than uh, enhancement and improvement. So well done, Sejo. Great session. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.